Hi, folks. Welcome to Action Members in Focus. It's brilliant to see you. I'm joined today by Terry Benamore from the Kiri Clinic. Welcome, Terry. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Ah, oh, thanks a lot for having me. It's Let's... always a pleasure. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's dive straight in. Tell me about incantations in the Kiri Clinic. Well, um, so hi guys, I'm Terry. Uh, I do some of the world's most realistic nipple tattoos uh, for post mastectomy um, and post breast cancer and medical tattooing. Wow, amazing, amazing. So, so tell me more about that. Tell me about that problem. What's the problem that you solve? Why do you provide that service? So, um, well, I'm a realism tattoo artist uh, that I've, I've been doing for 18 years and um, Obviously, post mastectomy, people are left with without bre without mm. nipples, yeah. and often after they've had a mastectomy, they're left with lots of scarring. So uh, I create the nipples after they've had their operations and they've healed their surgery, and they're hyper realistic, and it just really is sort of marks the end of their journey mm. and there's a lot more you know it, it's a really heartfelt experience there's a lot more to it than just creating that hyper realistic nipple it's um a really important part for that client for moving on mm. um not only that i also do other types of medical tattooing okay. so i do um scalp tattooing for people that have had hair loss wow. so it can be male pattern baldness which is a very common type of hair loss or also um alopecia okay. work with a lot of clients that have had alopecia and also i do um phalloplasty tattooing and work a lot with transgender and clients who've gone through gender reassignment wow amazing so there's yes. so much more to tattooing because you've got a decorative tattoo doing business as well yes you? yes i've had incantations limited which is my decorative side of the business for uh 12 years now mm. so yeah i've been tattooing for 18 years and i've had incantations for 12 and it's just um it's wonderful but we're getting to the point where a lot more of my work is now focused on the medical side yeah. um which is where we are so how did you get into that what's the problem because people uh, women will have their mastectomy after surgery right yes and then you discovered that the NHS are doing a really, real, really bad job of the tattooing afterwards. So oh. they don't get a completed journey. Is that right? Yeah. So unfortunately, uh, most surgeons don't actually offer their clients a or the patient sorry an option you know once they've mm. had their mastectomy they're just left with a, a mound of flesh flesh that mm. is the breast but um without the nipple and actually how i got into it was i had a lot of clients coming to me for my realism work that had seen the level of realism that i was achieving and up and saying look i'd had this nipple tattoo done on the nhs and it's substandard unfortunately mm. i love the mm. nhs however you know it's not what they're specialists in and they um would then come to me and say, could you fix the nipple tattoo that I'd done? Mm. I did a couple and it worked out wonderfully. And then it opened up this whole new world where I realized there was a lot mm. of people out there with these substandard tattoos. So I um, trained with one of the world's best nipple tattoo mm. artists over in Canada. And since then, um, obviously it's just grown and mm. I've been really passionate about raising awareness for it because a lot of people aren't even aware that this service mm. exists yeah in fact you've just been on national news a few times yes. right because yeah. you're you're the tattooing that you're doing in fact your your core ta talent which is your realistic drawing yes right? it's so yes. realistic that you're getting banned on Instagram and Facebook That's and stuff right. like that right? yeah so tell me about yeah that. so when I I first opened the Kiri Clinic in um just literally as COVID was was coming about mm. and I had set up a Kiri Clinic Instagram page, mm. begun posting pictures of my nipple tattoos and nipple tattooing pictures are actually allowed on social media media because it's, uh, it's an artistic yeah. representation of a nipple. It's not an actual female nipple. And um, my Kiri Clinic Instagram page was banned for one year. Mm. I couldn't get it back. Mm. I it was so so difficult and that was it this sort of war began against um well between myself and social media so i've been raising lots of awareness and fighting for the cause because it is allowed yeah. all it was was that the algorithms think it was real so mm. they're deleting it mm. and then um subsequently 
they're sort of banishing me because mm. of it, thinking and, I'm posting pornography. And you've got a big social following, right? You've got like 25 or 30,000 yeah. <laughs> Instagram followers, and that's why you were on Sky News and yes. GB News, right? Yeah. It was exactly for, yeah. And you started a campaign. I mean, yes. You, is it hashtag free the nipple? Free the nipple. I didn't start free the nipple, okay. but yes, I am all for free the nipple. But obviously, there's a lot of work to do there because the yeah. female nipple is sexualized. Yeah. But what we're talking here is a very different matter, yeah, you know. Absolutely. We're not, you know, it's a very very sensitive um, matter and, mm. and it's really important mm. that people know this exists that's the most important yeah, thing because this draws the line it's the last point it's the closure yeah. for that whole breast cancer Absolutely. experience that yeah. your clients have experienced yeah right? so so what are the what are the big challenges? What's the plans for the business what are you planning to do next well uh, actually right now we are opening up the very first Kiri clinic wow. as its own entity so currently the Curie Clinic is within Incantations mm -hmm. Limited, which is our um, existing tattoo business. And we have a lovely clinical room. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. However, it's always been the plan to have the Curie as its own um, separate clinic mm -hmm. because it's really important that for the women and the men that have, that have been through these surgical procedures that they know that they're coming to somewhere that is really safe, a mm -hmm. safe place. Um, Incantations is beautiful, it's safe, it is not your stereotypical tattoo studio. However, um, for somebody that's never even been to a tattoo studio before, and for in, in order for surgeons to be able to recommend these services, mm. it's more difficult for them to say, oh yeah, just go to a tattooist to get that done, mm. to get that procedure done. So it, I need to draw a line and say, look, you know, come to this beautiful premises. It is more of a clinical setting mm -hmm. and, um, it's just a bit more sensitively approached that yeah. way, you know. And it really has got that feeling of being a clinic, isn't it? It's a yes. beautiful setting. It's yes. in Parkland. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's going to be absolutely yeah, stunning. Absolutely. So, Terry, Terry, tell me, you've been in business for 18 years now. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest lessons that you've, that, and what can you share to other business owners? What's the biggest le lessons you've had in the last 18 years? The biggest lesson, you know, for, for me, actually, I, I, started my business based around my skill mm. you know um so I had a talent as an artist and then I started uh, you know I grew my talent opened the business and then kind of did everything backwards I think a lot of people learn about business open a business and then grow their skill and talent mm. um the biggest thing I have learned is how much time I need to spend on the business rather than in it yeah. for Honestly, the majority of my um, business life, I have spent working in the business. Mm. Therefore, it can't grow. Mm. Um, or the growth that it does make is minimal mm. because I'm expecting this growth to just miraculously happen mm. while I'm working in it. So actually, um, having a coach, a business coach, is the biggest thing that I would recommend to anybody. Um, it's it's been be enabled me to prioritize the the jobs that really need doing mm. and and think about business from a, an outside perspective mm. rather than me as the person that works within it love it love it what inspires you terry people okay just i absolutely love working with people and i'm um, a huge empath and the work that I do is so, so special. And I do think that uh, every time I meet somebody, it, it'd be somebody that perhaps you'd walk past in the street, you think maybe you'd never have anything in common. Mm. And then when you are one person next to another, uh, having a heart to heart, you realize we have so much in common mm. with everybody. And I actually feel like I can take away more um, from my clients than they even get you know it's a very emotional it's a big emotional exchange not just a tattoo yeah. there's there's feelings and a connectivity there so people I'm so inspired by people yeah and you're yeah. in particular because of what you do you've told me that you laugh and cry with your yeah. clients every, every day, day. <laughs> every day we well, are crying but, but that's a real purpose right yes. that's about having real purpose in terms yeah. of what drives you and gets you out of bed in the morning yes right? yeah so, so tell me terry if that's what inspires you i know you've got big news what's the hot news in your business right now well the hot news is we have just signed the lease for our brand new premises mm -hmm. which i am so excited to, about we'll be opening this spring mm -hmm. and we've taken on two beautiful premises we're going to have alternate therapies there mm -hmm. from 
um, acupuncture to counseling therapies. We're going to be holding events where people can get together and create friendships with mm -hmm. other people that have been through similar journeys. Um, so this is happening right now. And I, I'm so excited to welcome everybody to there. So. so the really hot news is going to be how you're funding this project, right? Yes. That's the really well, yes, exciting Yes, absolutely. Stuff. So we are um, about to launch within the next couple of days a prize draw okay. and the prize draw is offering tattoo prizes mm -hmm. including nipple tattoos mm -hmm. and people can donate uh, sorry people can buy a, a prize draw ticket mm -hmm. a raffle ticket mm -hmm. and 100 percent of that money goes towards the kiwi clinic project Fantastic. Uh, and it will all be blogs people can follow the journey we're mm. going to be going live with how the development of the premises is going Brilliant. and everyone that buys a ticket their name will be hand painted on the wall within the premises by myself as well so it's a bit like a crowdfunding yes. kind of model yes. right fantastic that's absolutely brilliant how can viewers get in contact with you terry either if they want to come and have some of your services or if they want to take part in that draw how can they get in contact with you the best way is to visit my website which is www.thekiriclinic.com and um, follow the contact me page on there. But also you can find me on social media at the Curie Clinic or at Miss Terry Tattoos. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Terry, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming in. It's been brilliant to see you. And, and I'm, you. I can't wait to see where this Curie Ooh. Clinic journey is going to go. It's going to be massive. I know it is. I can just imagine. I've already told you I can see 50 dots all over the map, oh. all over the country already. But that's the that journey. That would be we're awesome. Going on. That would be awesome. <laughs> Terry, thank you so much. Thank and I you. wish you lots of success with that journey. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Folks. Thank you so much for joining. If you want to take part in Action Members in Focus, then please get in touch and um, we'll let you know how to apply. Just comment apply in the comments below and we'll send you an application form. Can't wait to see you. Apart from that, thanks very much for joining and watch out for more episodes of In Focus.